today we're going to be talking about one of Kung Fu's most popular weapons, Dan Dou, in Cantonese, which means single sword. In English, sometimes we'll hear it called saber, broadsword, but in Cantonese, Dan Dou. It's a very popular weapon. We have long, short, heavy, flexible, double. We have many categories of weapon, and this is one of our most favorite and popular ones. Now, before we start talking about the movements, let's talk about the design of the weapon. When we look at this weapon, we see that the handle is actually very small. It's made for one hand. So the techniques are designed for you to really strike, block, and parry using one hand. Okay? Uh, I recommend getting a nice balanced sword. As you practice more, you really want to, before you buy it, you want to try it out and see how it feels. Uh, if you can get one weighted over here in the back, even better. That really helps to balance it out. But let's talk about the design. We also have a piece here called a hand guard. And what does it do? It guards your hand. So you want to make sure that whenever you hold this sword, that you don't hold it like that. Sometimes when you're doing the form, you'll, you'll feel it move. You need to constantly go back and grip it really tight close to the hand guard. You can use these three, you know, the thumb, index, and uh, middle finger to hold it. And then these two can come in there when you need support. But you, you want to make sure that you don't do this. If you look at the handle, the handle gets actually skinnier closer to the hand guard. Okay, so try not to hold it like this for maximum movement and better technique you want to hold it close to here okay so once we look at that let's look at the blade the blade is sharp on one side it's a little bit bigger here and usually it's thicker on this side and sometimes even thicker down here depending upon which sword you get so again we can cut we can we can go through and pierce we can chop okay it's very similar to a machete but what's most important is your left hand you're going to be using your left hand a lot with the sword you know maybe the sword might block so that you might be able to grab and come in and cut and most traditional Kung Fu forms that use broadsword will have a lot of that technique. So let's do, go over two things today. One, how to hold it. When you hold it, you hold it in your hand like this. Some people also hold it like that. You want to put the sharp side facing out. Don't do this, okay? But you'd be surprised so many people, even at tournaments, are very tired, exhausted, it's nervous. You want to make sure that you're holding it properly, okay? Uh, I prefer holding it right where the elbow bends. That way if I do move, there's certain movements where you can block and strike or even use this. You don't want to hold it here because when you start moving, the tip comes very close to your eye. Okay. Uh, another technique I'd like to go over is when we do an overhead block, we're using the left hand to help clear or, or grab and cut two times and prepare and open. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to move the sword and the hand in conjunction with each other. I see a lot of people block and swing it like a lasso, you know? You wanna block and use the left arm at the same time, clearing it out of the way. So block and clearing it out of the way. Block, clear, block and clear, block and clear. You know, just like a shower curtain. You know, it's not gonna move itself, you have to move it, okay? But you also wanna brace for impact. If, if something's coming in and you wanna get in one, maybe you might be able to grab it. And then from here, cut, see? Relaxing the wrist, cut, cut again. Very important to touch your back. Touch your back. Not with the blade, but the flat part. Touch your back. Come over the shoulder. Left palm facing in, pulling it back and twisting out. Okay? Try not to hold it too high. We're not here to show everybody. The actual technique is called hiding the blade. Chong do. Okay? The edge of your hand is facing out. So again, one, two, three. Look, it comes down. Four and five, okay? In conjunction with each other, one. Some people grab, one, two. Sometimes flick the hand so you know the hand's up. Three, look, opposite, almost making the shape of the yin yang, and four. Okay, I hope these techniques help you. Stay tuned to our YouTube page for more videos in the future. Good luck in your training.